ينصح الخبراء اليابانيين باتخاذ الاجراءات التالية سبسكرايب لايك كومنت فيفرت So from the previous lecture we know in order to crack WEP we need to first capture a large number of packets this means that we'll capture a large number of IVs the IVs because they are short they will be repeated therefore we'll be able to use a tool called aircrack ng to run statistical attacks and crack the web key so we're using aerodump ng to capture the data and we've seen how to do this before then we're using aircrack ng to analyze this data and break the key let's see how to do this in practice so I already have my wireless adapter in monitor mode and it's called mon0. I've also already run aerodump ng to list all the networks around me. And as you can see, I have only one network using WEP. This is called test AP3. And this is my actual network that I use every day. I've just configured it to use web to make this lecture. The main reason why I'm targeting the network that I use daily because like I said for this to work we need to capture a large number of packets and therefore we need a busy network a network that gets used constantly to capture a large number of packets. If the network is idle then the process is a little bit complex and I will cover that in the next lecture. So for now, let's focus on the simplest form, which is how to break into a busy network. So I'm going to copy the BSS ID of this network. And I'm going to run aerodump ng against this network only. So I showed you how to do this before. I'm going to do aerodump ng. I'm going to do dash dash BSS ID to specify the BSS ID of the network. Then I'm going to do dash dash channel to specify the channel of the network and we can see it's running on number one and I'm going to do dash dash write to store everything that we capture into a file and let's call this file basic web and then I'm going to specify my wireless adapter in monitor mode which is mon0 so we run this command before in the targeted sniffing lecture all we're doing is we're running aerodump ng against a specific network with this MAC address, with this channel, and we're storing everything in a file called basic web. I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, aerodump ng is working against my target network. And if you notice, you'll see the data in here is increasing really, really fast. So this is something that I told you I'll talk about it later when we were talking about aerodump ng because I didn't want to talk about IVs at that early stage. So basically what you see under the data column is the number of useful packets that contain a different IV that we can use in order to crack the key. So the higher this number is, the more likely we will be able to crack the key. As you can see, this number is increasing very fast because like I said, this is a busy network that is being used at the moment by my own computers and my own devices. If yours isn't increasing fast, then don't worry, we will tackle this problem in the next lectures. So for now, we're capturing a lot of data and this should actually be enough to crack the key. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down to my other terminal in here. And if we actually list the files, you'll see that we have the capture file that we specified in the right argument. And like I said, we're always interested in the .cap file. So all we have to do right now is do step two in here, run aircrack ng against the file that we captured in order to crack the key. So I'm gonna do aircrack ng, followed by the file name, which is basicweb01.cap. I'm gonna hit enter. And as you can see, it's telling us that the key is found. So let me cancel this here. And right now we can connect to the target network, which is called test AP3 using this ASCII password. So you can literally just copy this and paste it, or you can connect using this key. Now, in some cases you will not see this ASCII password. That's why I'm going to show you how to connect using this key right here, because you'll always get this. 
So I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to paste it here. You can paste it anywhere in a normal text editor or anywhere you want. And all you have to do is remove the columns that we see in here between the numbers. So I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to remove this one, this one, and this. And now we can just copy this. And just to show you, I'm actually going to connect from my host machine. You can connect from Kali, but when we enabled monitor mode, we killed a lot of processes. And sometimes even after you restart these processes, getting connected to your target will be a little bit buggy. So it's best to literally just restart Kali and connect again. So just to save all of this time, I'm going to connect from here. I'm just going to click here. I'm going to connect to test AP3 and I'm going to paste the password. So I'm just going to click on show the password to show it to you again, the same password. We just remove the columns. I'm going to click on join. And as you can see, we managed to connect and we can test this connection by going to Google. And perfect. As you can see, it's working and we managed to break the WEP encryption. Subscribe. Like. Comment, favorite.